Hi everyone, Shirtlad here, and today I'll be doing a versus mode match using only the Dagger L and its variants, like the Dark Dagger, the Strike Dagger, which is basically a, an earlier version of the Dagger line. And uh, as you can see, the other ones are the Jet Dagger, the Dark Dagger L, the Doppelhorn Dagger, while well, I'm using the Strike Dagger. I've set the time to 300 seconds, and I'll set the map to... Yeah, let's go with Random Ground Map, because I hate the Undersea Maps there. They've got their gimmick, which I don't like, so... Well, You'll probably see at some point. So yeah, the main objective is to get a few initial hits in. Because when the fight ramps up, all every single bit of HP matters. Yeah. I thought the I thought that guy was going for the melee, but ah Right, let's take care of the Dark Dagger, and I almost got hit in the back, so... Oh, at least I dodged and intercepted it in the shot, which is nice. Time for another whiff punish, yes. I dodged uh, with, uh, while well, doing the melee, which is nice. Because I didn't get uh, that much damage from uh, the Dark Dagger. The Dark Dagger's down. Jet got shot by the ally, and yeah. The Dark Dagger is getting a few more hits from the other guy. And then. Didn't think it would end with the destruction of the Jet one. I always thought the. Uh, I always thought that my ally would go for the Dark Dagger, but. Hey, still works in the in the end. For the next match, I'll be going with the cannon one. All my eye switches to the strike dagger. I haven't played the cannon dagger a lot. Maybe one or two rounds. And well. While it has the gimmick that uh, Gun Cannon has in the Federation vs. Zeon and uh, the... How the hell was that called? Oh yes, uh, Gundam vs. Zeta Gundam. Uh, it's a bit slower, so I kind of have to watch my timing a bit. Which I'm currently uh, in the process of messing up. As you can see by me missing my melee, failing to land a good shot, landing a good shot, then failing because I've, uh, I've wasted my ammo, and basically now I'm just throwing everything I've got. The mixed result, but at least we've got a lead. Right now, I got flanked a bit, so... Oh, nice! Because I've got some awaken gauge so that I can break out of a combo if I get hit too much. And bam! Mutual destruction. But this time I get uh, got him first, so at least that counts. Let's go for the third and final round, because I usually do those in threes. Since uh, it usually fills in the necessary length. Because if I made it like one or two rounds, it would be pretty short. And if I went for five, it would be quite long. So I guess I'll stick with the three rounds at a time. 
Let's keep the settings the same, yes. Let's go. Why not? Oh, this is gonna be an interesting map. Gotta admit, I'm not really good with the jet dagger. I'm, I'm good with the jet window, but I haven't really mastered the the boost dash of this thing, which is kind of necessary to flying it effectively, but just like with the just like with the most of uh, fighting games, you got up to five characters that you can play well and then there's the rest which you can play at various levels of proficiency for example I'm really good with the Gwaze I can time the I can time the hip hooks right but I'm very shit with the jet daggers because unlike the bird mech the how's it called uh, the din from seed that one has a has a pretty decent move set but i'm not really used to something with the controls of with the controls and mobility of uh, dagger and uh, the jetpack of the jet window well wow. It all works in the end, so that's all for today. So I guess Shirtlight signing out.